where we are now in this zone. Potito is so loved that in a manner that it is taken as a farmer's wallet. It's the only crop that you can actually raise in 90 days and have the money. Irish potato is a major crop here for cash and for consumption. When you talk of a potato, it almost means everything to me. Mumaka Gandhi, the Mondi is not a chira kudya monong. Ogonde tuzuguze tuyamaka sete. Of course, potato as a crop uh, has many challenges, but uh, key of those are diseases, and in particular. Uh, we have uh, one major disease called late blight that we have been struggling with to fight all along. The biggest challenge a potato farmer is facing around here has been late blight and bacteria with it. The fact that uh, most of these farmers actually are small scale farmers owning very small lands in a normal farming system they have to manage it using chemicals. So uh, you find they use money in the form of chemical sprays. You cannot be successful growing Irish potatoes without using fungicides here. The chemicals are very expensive. Indeed they are. Uh, look at, uh, for example, a kilo is now uh, 80,000. And that's a lot of money to a farmer. The spray pumps are very expensive. Remember, if you don't spray, especially with Victoria, if you don't spray weekly, you don't get anything. And when the weather is harsh, at times you are forced to spray twice in a week. At farmer level, when this disease attacks, farmers lose 40 to 60 percent of their yield. When you translate this loss in terms of economic terms as a country, uh, in Uganda shillings, we are losing close to 500 billion Uganda in a year, which is a very big loss as a country to the disease alone. Ati e muandezo, enjura kwe ragwa mono. Tuta me me vazi mi nji, esente zikanya. Oshanya na bampi nji renge muandi, renge shahu yikumi, fuiri zomo vazi tuza kumara sisi niyona, shanya na mara hunge mi rione mene mitu arata. The wouldn't rule out that functions they may have some environmental effects. And even health-wise, of course, as you spray, you, may f you cannot completely eliminate it from really getting in touch with you. Even when protective gears are sold to the farmers, it is hard to, to find a farmer putting on all the protective gears while spraying. The protective gear tends to be a bit... Um, uncomfortable because it is mainly plastic and you do tedious work, sweating profusely at times when the weather is really bad. We tend to increase the dosage. In a, a serious year, you can really go, go down to your knees because of that bright. As researchers, that's where we are placed to find the most cost-effective means to ensure at least uh, we, we control this challenge. We are losing a lot to the diesel already. So uh, the best approach to avoid that is to make sure that these plants are able to naturally protect themselves. We are already tackling it using uh, modern technologies to make sure that these farmers have food and cash on the table. The variety that uh, has this technology is one of the varieties that he used to be liked much by the farmers. Farmers used to like Victoria, but along the way, it succumbed to this disease blight. Victoria especially brings returns faster than any other 
potato variety that we have. So there is need to have an improved variety of Victoria for good health, more income, and time saving. Uh, we partnered with the International Potato Center through that kind of collaboration. Uh, we were able to, to precisely move uh, genes that would actually protect this Victoria. And we have been able to test this product here for several cycles, now close to over 10 tests in the field. And we are seeing similar results of complete protection. We operate under uh, the guidance, under the legal framework, as provided by the National Biosafety Committee. One of them is to ensure that at least the crop is in a fenced area. And uh, maybe if you may note where we are standing, the area where we are growing this crop is fenced off. That means uh, it is prevented from being taken by another farmer before the actual time of release. So until we complete our tests. There are checks and balances to ensure whoever comes in is checked and he signs in and when he's getting out he's also checked as he signs out. And uh, we have 24 hour security to ensure at least uh, th that the material doesn't uh, or is not taken out by, a, by any other person before the actual release time. Farmers from those regions that have seen the three other varieties grow without any disease attack on them, without any little blight spots on it, are already saying, when can you give us this product? Given the opportunity, really I would go by the three RVs, Victoria, which is not having this frequency of fungicide application. It also saves me a lot of money. Labor, the chemicals, and all that, even time. As a man, to gather and carry his obvious, it is obvious. Nazi Hinga, the Zerebera Rajan, Zivagare, Tazi Fuhira, Zayera, near Mezoku Guza, Nezoku Janezoko, I may in the Bibo, Lerona Yaza, and Guzi. Upon granting uh, that green light, we have a strategy that uh, as a government, the product will follow our normal seed system. And uh, of course, we shall have uh, a tracking mechanism to ensure at least those who are interested in having the crop have it uh, and a good tracking system. And uh, we believe the cost of this product will not be any different from the normal cost of uh, other potato varieties that we have been churning out as a government agency. I look forward for for this product reaching to the farmer because this is a product that can help the farmer actually save a lot of money, get more yields, because we believe if a farmer adopts this variety, he will improve his income by over 10%. His yield will, will increase by 40%. That will be a lot of money coming to his pocket. We will have food on the table and that would be a major tremendous impact on the livelihood in the potato farmer in this zone. And I look forward for that day when every farmer is smiling and enjoying and is growing the cereal potato. This will be a very interesting day for me as a scientist who has been working on this crop for the last 11 years now.